if you thought I'm gonna pull down any of these Milan jerseys that I had in parts 1 and 2 of the Serie A preview, you were wrong. Milan I have so many, I just can pull out another one out of the closet and I chose the one from 16, 17 I think, or 15, 16, I have to look that up on again. Welcome to part 3 of my Serie A preview and the review of the jerseys uh, that we're gonna wear that are gonna be worn in the upcoming season. Um, and there will be only three teams uh, in this one because many jerseys have not been released and I thought, well, we have two big boys in there anyway. So let's get right to it. Of course there's Milan. Uh, that's why I'm wearing Milan. And this is the first Puma jersey by Milan after Adidas for over 20 years supplied their jerseys. I've not always been happy with the Adidas jerseys, but last year's were really nice. And yeah, I'm a little bit sad to see Adidas go from Milan, honestly. This was just a com combination that really worked out well for me and I got used to it. But now on to Puma. And the first home jersey is a really nice effort. I was so relieved because I was afraid they're gonna do something Arsenal style or whatever, just messing up with a classic pattern. No. Red and white stripes. Yes, the red one is centered. I like it when the black one is centered. I like it a little bit better, but in this case it works because the shoulders are black. And then uh, if you were still missing the three stripes of Adidas, we have the Puma form strap uh, in red. So it kind of looks like a Milan kit. And then you have the nice rugby style collar. The Puma logo still looks strange on there and Fly Emirates, of course, and maybe the crest is riding a little bit high. But yeah. Uh, the other thing, I was so hoping, and yeah, they reduced a little bit. There was always an Italian flag since uh, 2010 season. There was always an Italian flag on there somewhere. I'm not sure even if it was on last year, but I think there was. And I thought, yeah, Puma, we don't have it. No, we do. We do. All the way on the bottom of the tag, there is a little Italian flag. I'm getting a little bit tired of this. Uh, if Milan would win the championship every year like Juventus, put Italian flags on there. You have a Scudetto, you can pull it on. Not like that. But yeah, uh, it's just a minor detail that no one will see and it's hidden away on the side. Um, really nice Milan shirt. I give it nine stars. Uh, make the sleeve striped and we'll talk in ten. Now the away jersey, which is actually my more favorite version of the Milan kit, um, is actually a disappointment. Um, and it's all because of the black stripe running across the chest. Yes, it's a Puma template and it goes uh, around the sleeves too, so it makes a nice cut. But it's the Rosso Neri and you have the black and the red here on the collar as well. Um, Make this a two-tone stripe, make it rosso nero and not just the uh, the black. Yes, you have done the red spawns and the red uh, puma cat, but Adidas did the same thing and they had it all in red and maybe had one black. Um, that one I just don't like. Uh, Milan um, away kits are some of the nicest kits out there because they're usually white with just a little bit touch of uh, red and black which is a great com combination at least for me uh, but this one is a disappointment it makes too little out of the colors and i'm gonna give it four stars really i think the nicest detail is the little devil's head on the back of the collar and i guess the home kit has as well and then just imagine this with this horrible puma lettering that we saw already on the World Cup. Uh, no, it's not gonna be good. So yeah, but at least the uh, third kit, that will be something interesting. And I like that they're going back to black, but they're doing something different. They have a black shirt and they have this headed um, sleeves with a red and black kind of very interesting pattern to look at. Uh, it is a raglan sleeves and then they wear this with um, red pants in the same pattern as the sleeves and this is a look that I really really like. Uh, it is simple but it's a strong look uh, and it doesn't do anything crazy around the chest like Marseille or Arsenal although in Marseille it looked good. Arsenal I didn't like, like it that much. Milan here this is a really smart look for a third jersey and I also give this I want to give this eight stars. It's not perfect because uh, maybe the red could pop a little bit more but I really like it overall. 
So this is eight stars. So except for the away kit, Puma, I was really nervous, honestly, about Puma come coming. But yeah, they did a good job. Now the next big team is Napoli, and unfortunately I only have the home kit. And at first, this is of course by Kappa, and I wonder if the auto are also tight fitting. And at first I thought, what are they doing here? This looks crazy. And Napoli had a few crazy kits. And it has this classic old style color, which doesn't fit with all this weird pattern here on the front. Uh, and then they have also just some blue bands without the pattern around the shoulders and then the pattern is all over there and then of course the one thing I don't like about Napoli is that the two sponsors that are so especially the red one it just sticks out too much um, but then when you look closer at the pattern especially if you look on the side this is a leopard or tiger or lion that's cool and you see it better if you look inside here you can make it out if you know what you're looking at but here you can really see it on the, on the bottom. And you have also the great Kappa logo uh, running down the sides, uh, which is also a touch I like. Um, yeah, it's still too crazy for me, honestly. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't know about Napoli. This will actually be a shortish video. Um, I would like to see a little bit more of the other kits. If this had a crew neck, I think it would make a lot more sense, but this one is somewhat caught between crazy and traditional. Um, nice colors, but too, yeah, almost too many colors. Uh, yeah, yeah, where, where should I go here? It's just because it's Napoli and I like Napoli 6. And another team I like, they got promoted, but probably will be relegated because they have already some pointed, which is Parma, and we only know one jersey by Erea, which is the third jersey, but boy does it look bold. This is what Portugal almost uh, had at the World Cup, at least in the pre-match. You have black with some gray sleeves. The gray sleeves I don't like. Make it all black. You have the monochromatic crest, could also be better. But the cross, that is bold and then outlined in yellow and blue. That I like. Maybe what well, 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 I don't like is there's too much pattern within the cross, so it gets a little bit too messed up. And I'm really looking forward to the home kit and the away kit. I hope they do something similar. Uh, Parma, since they were reformed, always had this nice cross pattern across. Uh, again, nice idea. Maybe the, the execution, it tries to do a little bit too much. And for that reason, I'm not going to go that high. I, if Napoli is 6, I think it's a little bit too crazy for me. I give this a 5. Uh, but I really like, I like the idea, I don't like the execution. Well, as I said, this was a short video because only Milan has a full kit yet and I'm surely gonna make more kits of Napoli, Parma and whoever is uh, ahead of Roma as well. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this kit. Uh, kit. How off I am? Do you agree with me? Don't you agree with me? If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you soon with part 4. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.